In this snip, we'll look at connecting to a Linux VM in Azure using the Posh SSH module. First using a combination of username and password. Then we will look at connecting using a combination of username and SSH key pair. I'm assuming that you have a VM created in Azure configured for username and password. And you have the module installed from the PowerShell gallery. Look at the following snip, installing a module from the PowerShell gallery if you're unsure about how to load it up. OK, let's get started. We need to obtain the public IP of your Linux VM or private address if you're connecting through a VPN. So I'm using get Azure RM public IP address to retrieve my IP from server one. I will then use that IP to connect with the credential tech snip admin. We're prompted for our password. We're prompted to accept fingerprint and trust it, which is the key that identifies the remote server we're connecting to. And you'll see we have session ID zero, the host, which is the IP address we retrieved, and we're connected, which is true. Next, let's try and send some commands using invoke-ssh command. We use a parameter minus index, which ties up with the session ID, and then we use the parameter minus command to pass an actual command, which we are passing pwd, which is present working directory. And you'll see from the output, we've got a pwd, which is forward slash home, forward slash tech snip admin. Next, let's try and re retrieve a directory listing from the VM. And there you can see we have a list of the directories on that remote Linux VM. Once we've finished, you can use remove-ssh session to then tear it down. And you'll see it's come up with a verbose message, removing session zero, session zero removed. Next, if we want to connect using username and SSH private public key pair, again, we can retrieve our IP address. I have another VM set up called server two. On server two in Azure, I configured that with my public key. Um, the private key is held on my local laptop. So this time, when we create a new session, we specify the IP address, our credential, our username, TechSnip Admin. This time though, we also use the parameter key file, which is pointed to the private key which I created. Using Posh SSH, you must make sure key pair is in open SSH format, otherwise it won't work. So we're prompted for the password, but this is the password of the private key. Again, we're asked to trust the fingerprint. Yes. So we'll send some commands again. And there we have retrieved the directory listing. So now we'll just tear that session down. And you'll see removing session zero, session zero removed. If you would like the code from this snip, please look at the link below to the repository on GitHub for the tech snip scripts. Thank you for watching this snip.